everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to kit up my next project which is the Eiffel Tower um, I did I've been drawing numbers to determine what my next project is going to be and back in February when I was going to my mom's, I drew some numbers for that trip, and this was actually the second number that I drew. I just have not gotten around to actually doing this project, so I'm now caught up on my numbers. This is the last one that I drew, so I'm going to go ahead and kit that up and get it all completed. So, I do have a Xyron sticker maker that I make my labels out of. Um, I tried to make a color copy of my sticker legend, however, my, my printer didn't want to make a color one, so I maybe I'm out of color ink, I'm not really sure. I'm actually going to put this on some painter's tape because I am noticing, I'm noticing my uh, boxes are having some residue, so I'm trying to prevent that, so I'm going to use some tape. If you have masking tape, you could use that. Um, I could have used masking tape too, but I just had this handy. And I'm not really sure if you like seeing kitted up videos fully kitted up or if you prefer to see them in a time lapse. So I'm going to see how this one goes. I'm going to start off with trying to talk and kit up while I go. And if I have enough to talk about, then we'll do it that way. If not, either I'll time lapse it with some music, or if there are spots where I'm not really talking a lot, I'll just keep it going regular speed, but put in music. So we do have 19 colors. Um, this was purchased from Amazon. I'm going to be using my Harbor Freight containers. And let's get to it. When I do my labels on my Harbor Freight, this is the, the front. I put my labels on the back. And then I'll stick them in the container this way. So while I was at my mom's this last time, I spent some time there in the beginning of March. I was there for two weeks. I um, organized all of my drawings and my drills and put everything all together and containers and nice and neat. So that was very exciting. I had, I, can't, I think I had 92 paintings. So, got my work cut out for sure because I have more in. I just got my Easy Women, which I'll be posting that video shortly. And I've got three other orders that I also have to do videos on and unbacking for. Um, so, I think I said it in the last video that I did, I think that purchasing diamond paintings is just as addicting as actually working on them. 
I got home on last, this past Saturday. Today's Thursday, so I got home less than a week ago. And the last day and a half I was there, I worked on small projects. So I didn't really want to start a big project and not finish it. Well, when I got home, I finished the little project that I was working on, which I do have a completion video also that I need to post. I need to get busy and posting. post in. Um, and then I just decided I didn't know what I wanted to work on. Well, I got my 90 by 90, We the People, out again. And I worked on that for just a little bit last night. You know, it's a really nice picture. It's very pretty. I can actually pan over to that here in just a moment and share that picture of progress. It's just a lot of black and gold and variations of those colors and it's kind of, the drills are terrible. So it's kind of a nightmare working on it. But it is for my other half, so I do want to get it completed for him. It's really nice that these are in alphabetic, numerical and alphabetical order. Um, even if they weren't, it wouldn't really make too much of a difference because they are, however freight, they are um, separated. And I'm noticing I'm going to have to write, I'm going to have to keep these bags for a little bit and write down the DMC numbers because they are not on the canvas. So I want to make sure I have the right DMC when I go to unkit this. And they are on the packages, they're just not anywhere else in the canvas. So I'll make sure to get those. So yeah, anyhow, I'm excited to work on this one because I've wanted to go to Paris since I was in high school. Probably told this story before too, but um, I took French. I want to say I took French for two years. What good it did me, because I don't really hardly remember anything. I could say my name, or, um, I mean, I can tell somebody that my name is in French. And I can say a few things, but not a whole lot. But I have wanted to go to Paris for a very long time. Everybody always says, why, it's so dirty. Well, that's fine, I still wanna go and see what it's all about, and say I've been there, and see the dirtiness for myself. But I know a lot of people also enjoy going there, so I'd like to see firsthand for myself. If it says what I, would be expecting. Um, maybe one day I'll get to go. I was 16 when I thought that I wanted to go and now I'm 44 and haven't had the single opportunity to even think about going. So maybe one day though. Put it on my bucket list. But we do have a lot of pretty colors in here. I've got a lot of purples and blues and teal and some pink, dark blue. Doesn't look like we have any black. Get to watch my grandbaby today overnight, so that'll be fun. Probably won't get to do a whole lot of diamond painting. That's okay. Making memories with her. There's hardly any of that color. 
but it shall be over here soon. I just wanted to get this video up and going. Um, so y'all can, I've done a few kidding ups. I usually time lapse them, but I feel like after you see me put on a couple of stickers and cutting the bags open, you kind of get the idea. But maybe you just really enjoy watching the kidding up process and to me, kidding up, kidding down is all part of the fun. Number seven has two bags and I Pretty sure they're not gonna both fit in here. So I'm just going to put one bag in. Oops, I figured that was gonna happen at least once. Um, and then I'll put the other bag just in my little container. So last night, I um, put all of my extra drills away. That was a chore. That was fun. I have so many different special shaped drills. I kind of don't even know. If, at one point in time, I didn't know if I really wanted to keep them all, and then I thought, no, you're going to keep them. What if you want them later for something? So I have those really small, compact kits that have 28 um, containers, and they're all the, they're the four that are connected together. Well, I have several of those. I ended up using three of them. And I think I still had maybe two slots open, but that's how many different special shapes I have. I don't even think I've done that many special shapes. But I got all that mess taken care of last night. So now I have organized leftover drills. I just need to get a few more bags because I did run out of the bag size that I was wanting to use. And I'm trying to figure out how, what kind of dividers I want. Um, I know somebody sells them on Facebook. I just don't know if I'm willing to spend that money, kind of money for them. I'm sure they're amazing and well worth the money. I just don't know if I want to spend the money for that. So I'm debating. Probably just going to go and get some more poster board and foam board and make it my own. I can't remember if I did a video or not. I think I unkitted one of my square paintings. I, I don't know if I can't remember. I know I did a video, but I haven't loaded it up yet. But we'll see if that makes it into the playlist. All right, so there we go. We have it all kitted up and ready to go. Now I just have to decide. I think I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to work on my Eiffel Tower work on this one sitting in the chair and then that is my 90 by 90 so just walk over here real quick so y'all can see don't mind the mess if you see a mess over but this is where I work on my diamond paintings I put my Kindle fire up there if my fiance is watching something I don't really care to watch, then I'll put that on. And here is my drill towers. The big white one holds 36 and the little red one holds 8. And this painting had 44 
colors. And then I do, I did use this Tic Tac container, which after it's all said and done, I should have just done, done them in baggies, but that is my work in progress. I've been working on it since I believe January 15th or so. I have well over a hundred hours in it so far, but it is looking amazing. Um, so anyhow, that is basically my kidding up for the Eiffel Tower and with Harbor Freight, the Harbor Freight containers. I will go back through and actually put those in the correct order because they're backwards, but um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, or if you didn't like it, then hit the dislike button. Um, and I also really enjoy getting your comments, and I do try to reply to every one of them. So if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. If you like watching Kidding Ups and you want them to be time-lapsed, I'm more than happy to do that as well. Or if you prefer watching a Kidding Up um, in real time, I can do that also. But here's my next project. Alright, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.